We're going to complete a drawing using tangents and we're going to use an example of a fidget spinner. So we all know a fidget spinner looks like this and the finished drawing that you're going to do will look like this. Right, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your ruler and measure across from the left hand side of the page 210 millimeters and just leave a mark like that. Now take your T-square and your set square and project vertically down using a light construction line as shown here. Again, with your ruler, you're going to measure down that line from the top of the page 150 millimeters and then just put a mark. Now you're going to take your T-square and this time with your set square, laying it on its side so that you can draw at an angle of 30 degrees as shown. Draw down to the right hand side from that point 150 millimeters down and then turn your set square around again so that it's angled at 30 degrees and draw down again from that 150 point. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and use it to set your compass to 20 millimeters as shown. Then you're going to put the metal point of the compass on that intersection and draw a light construction line circle as shown here. And again, in the same way, you're going to set your compass this time to 48 millimeters and put the point of your compass in the same starting position. So there are concentric circles as shown here. Now, what we're going to do now is reset your compass to that 20 millimeter radius and move it up to the intersection of the vertical line and the larger circle and draw another construction line circle. Then move it across to the intersection of the 30 degrees and larger circle and do the same and move it across to the left hand intersection of the large circle and the 30 degrees and do the same. Okay, what you're going to do now is take your compass and set the distance so that the metal point is in the middle of that top circle and the lead is touching the top of that center circle as shown. And then you're going to draw another construction line circle as shown here. In the same way, you're going to put the point on that right hand circle and draw another circle and another one as shown here. Right, now we're going to add some more construction lines to help us draw it. So with your T-square and your 30 degree set square, continue that line up to the large circle as shown here. And in the same way, continue that 30 degree line up to the left from the center as well. And now do the same, but vertically down from the center until it's just past the larger diameter circle. Now we're going to establish the tangent point. So we're going to take our 30 degree set square and we're going to go from the middle of that top circle down to the point where that 30 degree line intersects the larger diameter circle. Now you're going to set your compass with the point as shown here and the lead exactly here, which is the tangent point. So when we draw around, it meets the other bottom right circle perfectly. We're going to do the same at the bottom with the metal point here. And we don't need to reset it and we'll end up with a perfect curve touching the outside of both circles at the tangent point and the same on the left hand side. So we'll end up with that nice neat curve touching both circles. Now what we can do is start to outline the fidget spinner. So we're going to set our compass to 15 millimeters and that will be the internal size for the bearings. So first of all, put the center as shown here and you can draw an outline. Move it down to the center here and draw another outline circle and across to here and one more outline circle. Now what we'll do is we'll set our compass to that distance, which was 20 millimeters, and draw an outline there. Again, move it up, 
for this outline and across for another outline which is represents the outside of the bearings and lastly there. Now we'll draw in the outside outline. So set your compass as shown here and draw that outline, not going all the way around. And we'll do that there on the bottom right circle and then move it across to that bottom left circle as well. Just drawing between the tangent points. Next, we'll reset the compass to that distance there and draw those in. There on the bottom one also, and the one joining the left and the top circle as shown here. We'll finish off the drawing by adding a title block. And in that title block, write your name, title of the drawing, which is Tangents, Fidget Spinner, and the date 